Today we cover four more simple but effective exercises to ensure that you keep developing strong and pain-free knees after 50. And all these exercises can be done at home or in the gym. Knees are a leading area of pain and discomfort as we age. So make sure you stick around to the end where I put these exercises together into a simple plan that you can start following and progressing with today. Bring back or maintain that confidence that keeps you being able to do the activities you love. My name is Vaughan. I've been a personal trainer and educator in the fitness industry for 38 years. I'm here today to help you remove the pain and build strong knees. Our bodies are complex. However, for most of us, it's important to simplify things as much as possible so that we don't get caught up in the analysis paralysis that can sometimes hold us back. I want to try to simplify a complex part of our lower body mechanics. Our knee is a hinge joint, meaning it really should only bend and extend in one direction. It's also known as a slave joint. In large extent, it's controlled by two masters, the hips above it and the ankles below it. If you have weak hips and or weak ankles and feet, this can create poor alignment through the knee, leading to discomfort and pain whether we're getting up and down out of a chair or even walking. One muscle in particular, the glute medius, is involved in controlling what the thigh bone does. It attaches to the hip and to the thigh bone and plays a huge role in keeping correct thigh alignment and therefore knee alignment. When it's weak, our knees can cave inwards, creating something called valgus to differing levels. This puts unnecessary and damaging shearing forces through the knee every time we load it and impact with the ground. This of course leads to pain and weak knees. So not only do we need to strengthen the muscles around the knee, we need to ensure we build strong and stable hips and ankles. So today's exercise adds extra focus to building strength around the hips, glutes and ankles while still building strength around the knee. Strength controls movement. Developing strength will help you move your body and control your body confidently through space. So let's get moving. If you're not sure how to get started on your fitness journey, download the complimentary Longevity Plus Move and Improve Guide. I'll put a link for that in the description below. It's got everything you need to get started today. Exercise one is walking backwards. Now this is the same exercise we did in level one, exercise one, but this is a fantastic warm up exercise, so we're gonna be doing it again. So another chance to practice your Michael Jackson impersonation. We're strengthening the quads, the muscles that help to support the knee area, plus we're strengthening the glutes, the ankle foot complex. And we mentioned how important those are earlier in the video. This is also excellent for improving balance and cognitive function. Now, if you're not familiar with the level one video, I've put a link in the description below, so please check that out. Make sure you get level one sorted before you move on to level two. Exercise two is knee to wall. This is a great calf flexibility and ankle mobility and stability exercise. It helps to keep the knee's ability to track correctly to minimize pain as it's also working the VMO, the muscle on the inside of the kneecap. We learn about this in level one, it helps to keep that patella tracking correctly to minimize pain. Put your toe of one foot against the wall, touch the knee of the working leg to the wall, ensuring your heel stays on the ground. You can move your foot back two to three inches if or when you can to increase the difficulty. If you do progress fast, you can move your foot back the width of your foot. But again, ensure your heel stays on the ground at all times. Keep the movement slow and controlled. You can experiment with these different distances from the wall over time. Note, keep the movement slow and controlled. Do not progress unless you can keep the movement controlled and of course, no pain. Exercise three are squat holds. These are fantastic for strength and stability around the hips and knee. We get a lot of glute engagement in this position, and as we discussed earlier, if you want strong pain-free knees, you need strong glutes. Remember our glutes are connected to our thigh bone. They control the way the thigh bone moves when our foot is in contact with the ground. Use a dumbbell or kettlebell, 
or even the leg of a table for balance. Place your feet shoulder width with your toes pointing outwards. Push your hips back and slightly bend your knees. Keep your back straight, do not round your lower back and hold that position for 5 seconds. Then lower your hips a bit further and hold for another 5 seconds. Aim for these 5 second holds in 4 different ROMs or range of motions. Don't worry if you're only able to manage one or two of different positions. Your range of motion will improve over time. A longer term goal is to be able to do these 5 second holds in the different positions without the extra supporting or balancing aids. Exercise 4 is the bent knee calf raise. This works the tibialis posterior and the soleus calf muscle. That's the deeper calf muscle that runs underneath the heart shaped calf muscle. A strong posterior tib and soleus helps to prevent excessive pronation or rolling inwards of the foot, gives extra stability and shock absorption and improves balance. You can lower your hips in this movement for added difficulty. Lean against a wall or hold a stable object for balance. Bend your knees at 45 to 90 degrees, again depending on your ability. Raise up on your toes, but keep the same angle or bend in your knees throughout the movement. To make the exercise harder, slow the reps down and hold the squeeze position at the top for 2 seconds or increase the angle in your knees. Now for the programming. For the level 2 exercises, do these 1-2 to two times per week. For the level 1, you still need to do these 1 times per week. Again, if you're not familiar with those exercises, there's a link in the description below, so please check those out. Walking backwards, 1 to 3 minutes. The goal is to get to 3 minutes, so you can add 15 seconds each week until you reach the 3 minutes. For the needle wall, 10 slow controlled reps on each leg per set. 3 sets each leg. Increase the range of motion once you've mastered each level. For the squat hold, Aim for the 5 seconds hold at 4 different ranges of motion. Again, don't worry if you can only manage 1 or 2 different positions at the moment, your strength and range of motion will increase over time. For the bent knee calf raise, aim for 3 sets of 15 reps per set before progressing. If you can only do 5 reps at the start, just simply add 2-3 to three reps each week until you can get to your 15 reps. There you have it. Four simple exercises to progress the strengthening of your knees and their masters, the hips and the ankles. If you'd like to join the Longevity Plus newsletter to get extra tips and information, you can click the link in the description below. Remember, the goal of this channel is to simplify and clarify so you can take action now. Remove the confusion and possible analysis paralysis. Thanks for watching. Until next time, keep moving. Keep improving and keep your mojo alive. If you haven't already, please leave a comment below. Please press that subscribe button. Press the bell icon so you'll always be notified when a new video is released.